my name is Jamar. Today I want to tell you something that is very very important that will be happening soon. In September this year, there will be a count of all the people who live in Jamaica and all the houses too. This is called the 2022 Population and Housing Census. Do you know what a population and housing census is? A population census is the process of collecting and publishing information on the people who live in a particular country or a specific area. The information is so important. It tells us how many people live in the country, their level of education, whether they work, and any other information about them. Do you know who is counted in the census? All persons living in Jamaica or who are usual residents of our country are counted in the census. The census counts everyone living in a household whether they are related or not. Persons living in golden age homes, children's homes, prisons, on the street or in shelters are also counted in the census. The population and housing census is conducted by the Statistical Institute of Jamaica, STATIN, which is the National Statistics Office in Jamaica. STATIN employs over 7,000 census takers to help count all the persons who are usual residents in Jamaica. The census is usually conducted every 10 years in Jamaica, and this year will be Jamaica's 15th population and housing census. For this census, STATIN will be making greater use of technology. This will be the first time that census takers will be collecting information on tablets. Data collection will begin in September 2022 and is expected to be completed by December 2022. In order to collect the information, the census takers will have two questionnaires one for the household and one that is to be completed for each member of the household. As responsible citizens, it's very important that everyone participates in the census. People can participate by answering all the questions from the household and individual questionnaires accurately. The census taker will record their answers on their census specific tablet. What are some of the questions that the census taker will ask? Well, on the individual questionnaire, the census taker will ask questions about the age, religion, ethnicity, level of education, and where the people who are living in the households were born. The census taker will also ask questions about the house we live in. Questions such as, how many rooms are in our house, types of facilities we have available such as kitchen, bathroom and toilet facilities, where we get water from and what type of fuel we use for cooking, example gas, coal, wood, kerosene oil or any other fuel. Making sure that the population and housing count is accurate in the census is very important. The information collected in the census is used by everyone, including representatives of the local and central governments, to make decisions about how to improve our community and country. This includes our schools, playgrounds, libraries, houses, hospitals, supermarkets, and other buildings should be built. Business owners and entrepreneurs also use census data to help make decisions about where to build a factory or what type of business they should create. If our parents or family members do not give the census takers the correct information, then the government will not be able to plan well for the future needs of our communities and our country. This means that our communities may not have enough schools, health centers and other well-needed infrastructure in the future for us to use. All census takers sign an oath of secrecy and confidentiality that they must uphold. No one else in Jamaica will know what your family told the census taker. The data collected by census takers are sent to the census office where it is analyzed. After the census count is finished, 
The reports are published in a way that people cannot identify you or your family. Be sure to tell your parents and family that participating in the census is very, very important because you count, me count, all of we count.